background as a commercial pilot. About eight years ago, I stopped flying full-time, just flying 50% and then started teaching here at the at Entry Point North, which is an ATS academy, educating air traffic controllers and, and other ATS personnel. Getting more knowledge concerning human factors was important for my part. Uh, and therefore, I actually applied for the master because what I do is I develop training material. I develop courses, I do development training of, of already certified, uh, validated controllers, but uh, I also teach uh, on initial training. This course is completely different because you're combining it with your work, which I think is amazing because you have the chance to apply the theories that we talk about uh, the day after. The students in, in our program are are very keen on, on understanding their own organization a, a, a bit better and understanding the complexity that there often is in, in, in socio-technical systems, in safety critical systems. We are all professionals, we are all practitioners, we all have some kind of a practitioner background and I think that we are all, even though we might be working in a different part of the organization now than we were previously, we're still practitioners by heart. We recognize the close link there is working on the floor in the sharp end uh, and not just the, the, the blond end where often the decisions are made. We are from all over, it's worldwide. Different domains, different countries, we have everything from gas and oil, aviation, healthcare, it's shipping, it's uh, e-commerce, it's um, air traffic control like I am, it's, it's many different industries worldwide. In order to enter the program, you need to have an organization that, that is behind you, your company. They, they have to support you and they, they have to finance your, your education, which also means that they will show some kind of dedication, that you are able to do your assignments actually looking upon your own organization. You wouldn't be able to do the assignments in the same way if you only have an academic background. You need to link it to the real world. You get a lot of inspiration and you can learn from other domains. The experience they have accumulated is something that some, some of it can be transferred to you. You don't have to make the same mistakes as they did. Perhaps your industry is not exactly similar, but there can be issues that are similar and they're, they're absolutely areas and, 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 and examples where you can say that, okay, we can skip that step. That has been tried in another industry and found that that didn't provide the, the result they wanted. So let's approach it from a different angle. So I think there, there is much where we can say that we can, we can learn from each other. The most important thing that I take with me is that now we have a closer link to academia. We have a much closer link to all the research that is available, but traditionally I don't think that we have used it in, in a way that I see today is, is, is absolutely necessary for us to, to evolve. Uh, so, so much research is, is something I take in. Human factors is an area that is still very much unexplored in, in many areas and a lot of things are happening since our systems today that we're working are getting yet more and more complex and difficult to understand. We have much more automation today than we had just 10 years ago. So there are some items there that, that needed to be, to be explored and, and I think that I've gained much more knowledge and understanding of, on how to approach these areas. I think this program is led by an amazing mindset that we are creating something together. There is, uh, this is not something because we have to do it. it, it just happens. And I think it happens because when you do these assignments and comment on, on your fellow students' assignments, you actually become rather close very quickly. So it's, it, comes, it comes naturally. You get an amazing network with your classmates, with your tutors. Uh, with professors that are, that are linked to the program. So suddenly you have the opportunity of, of, of using these people in your daily work, which I find very valuable. Uh, I just uh, arranged a safety seminar for uh, pra safety practitioners and training uh, personnel. Um, and, and much of that I did through the network I, 
I, I've just gained through this education. If you are in an organization, you have a practitioner's background, and if you are afraid of not evolving, I think this program is perfect for you. If you are keen on knowing more about yourself and your organization, and on how to, how to view risk, safety, I think this is the program that you need to apply for. I would describe it as a journey where you are challenged constantly, but in a very positive way. You are forced into looking at many sides of your organization that perhaps you haven't thought about before. But I think mostly I would say that you'll never see the world from the same angle again. The world is not black and white anymore. It's, it's many different shades of grey.